It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm back with another vocation beer from Asda. This is naughty and nice chocolate stout coming in at 5.9% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Lovely can wrap, three pounds for the can. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Beer in the glass. It's created a four, three to four finger tan colored head. Initially, uh, my first thought was, and have a look at the liquid. I thought it looked a little bit thin, but the way it developed that head, I'm starting to have second thoughts. There's a little bit of light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass. I think if you poured this out to me in a pub, I would be looking at the head thinking, yeah, it's definitely a stout. But then I'd, I'd be looking at the body of the beer and I'd be thinking, maybe it's a porter at a stretch, maybe it's a dark mild. Naughty and nice chocolate stout. Let's get the aroma on this beer then. It's packed full of hazelnut. Hazelnuts and a certain kind of nuttiness. Almost like a green nut. A fresh green nut. Pulled straight from the, the nut tree. The first time I, I experienced an aroma like this before was from a beer from Thornbridge Brewery. They brewed a peanut, a peanut beer, which was just outstanding. It was a dark ale. I think it might have been a stout or a porter. But they produced this peanut beer, which blew my mind, absolutely blew my mind. And of course, when a brewery does that sort of thing, other brewers are looking, other brewers are watching, other brewers are tasting. And they're saying, we'll have a little bit of that. What I like about the aroma of the beer is the fact that it's slightly vinous. You get a bit of dark fruit, a bit of plum and fig and prune, which is very rare for a supermarket beer. For the supermarket canned craft beer at three pounds a can. It's a sign of quality. It's a sign that they've, had, they've added some hops in the beer. Because instead of the American hops giving off flavours of grapefruit, passion fruit and mango like you would expect in a pale ale or an IPA, mixed with the roasted malt, it gives off a darker fruit flavour. It gives off that plum, that fig, that prune. And it's definitely in the aroma of this beer. Along with the roasted malt of chocolate and coffee and caramel. So far, so good. Um, very rare do I kind of talk about the aroma for as long as I normally, uh, for as long as I do. Normally I'm drinking the beer by now. So it's a really good sign that I'm still talking about the aroma of the beer. I'm enjoying the aroma of the beer. Enough that I haven't tasted it yet. But anyway, here's to the tasting. Oh, <laughs> that's, um, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Vocation have battered it out the pack. I think um, it's almost like 
the opportunity to produce fantastic beer with Asda was just, it was just too much to ignore. It was too much to, the opportunity, vocation brewery. Let's talk about vocation first and foremost. Of course, first of all, actually, let me talk about the flavor of the beer. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, roasted malt, nuttiness, biscuitiness, breadiness, good mouthfeel, chocolatey, kind of rich, thick mouthfeel. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Those, those hops in the beer, they're giving off flavours of plum and fig and prune. There's a little bit of sweetness from the light malt that's in the beer. This is wonderful. It really is. I'm going to give you the reason why this beer is so wonderful. Vocation Brewery. Just another brewery in the UK seven or eight years ago. They weren't kind of making great strides. They weren't kind of really doing anything until they started producing beer for the supermarket. And they concentrated everything on producing beers for supermarkets. And I think Vocation were the first brewery in the UK to fully understand the leverage, the growth that they could get as a company from working with supermarkets. So forgive me, but I think that they produced a milk stout for Asda for a number of years. They were almost like producing like Asda owned beers for a while. Um, but slightly before that, they were working with Tesco. They were putting beers into Tesco. They were concentrating on on, 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 on the Tesco beers. Uh, but the two name beers, so Naughty and Nice, um, Life and Death, Love and Hate. It was always a two barrel word name for their beers, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then the breakout moment happened with Tesco when they produced the Blueberry Waffle Stout. My goodness me. That was the, for me personally, that was a breakout moment. That was the moment where I went, oh my goodness me, vocation and doing something really, really special here. Um, it was three pound a can. It was something like six or seven percent ABV. Um, it was exactly what I'm tasting here today in terms of quality. Not quite same flavours, but quality from a Tesco beer. And it was downright exciting. It really was to be able to go, my goodness me, finally the supermarkets get it. They get that they can produce decent craft beer at three pound a can. Everybody's happy. Everybody who is interested in buying supermarket craft beer is happy because they get to taste something pretty decent and have a variety of flavours, a variety of styles that they can buy in the supermarket. But the reason why this beer is so good, and I've just reviewed a Toucan Tropical beer from Vocation in Asda, is because when they launched into Asda Vocation, or when Vocation launched into Asda, they didn't get off to the right start. Um, for whatever reason, there was a beer launched into Asda called Perfect Storm uh, from Vocation that was just not right. I haven't bought it since. I've not bought that beer in a year. From 2021 to 2022, I bought the beer once. I've not bought it since. Um, but that beer was just not right. It was, it was just tasting terrible. I reviewed it. Lots of other people reviewed it, drank it, rated it on untapped. 
And that was the first time I think vocation, after all that fantastic growth, all that fantastic kind of growth via supermarket, because they, they since launched in Morrison's and they launched in Sainsbury's. Uh, I think they even launched in, in, in Waitrose maybe. But anyway, they finally launched into Asda. And it was the first disaster that I think Vocation had along the way. It was the first time where alarm bells went off at Vocation HQ, where they thought, oh my goodness me, what's happened? What's happened to this beer? Why is this beer? Are we rushing ahead too much? Do we need to take a step back? Do we need to make sure the beers are perfect? And I think they, they've taken that step back. They've looked at what happened with the first beer in Asda and they've taken that same approach that they took with Tesco in that if we launch quality beer amazingly great quality beer, then then the brand will grow so they went back to the drawing board they put this toucan beer into bouquet uh, into Asda which is terrific it really is see if you can find it it's a special edition beer, followed up by this beer, this Vocation Naughty and Nice Chocolate Stout. This is good. This is really good. Well worth your three pound a can. And, it, and it basically, it puts Vocation on that same trajectory. It, it keeps them kind of growing as a company. And, and and that's important for these companies that they carry on growing, they carry on producing great beer, hopefully, hopefully, and they carry on growing. I would say Vocation have been extremely, extremely clever. There's no luck involved in what Vocation have done here. I think they've just been fantastically clever. They've worked with the supermarkets. And I would quite happily now pick up a Vocation beer over a Brewdog beer, over a Thornbridge beer, any day of the week, any day of the week. Vocation, for me, screams quality, but at the same time, screams value. Value and quality. It's very rare in the beer world that we can say those two words when we're talking about a can of beer. I'm gonna rate it. Naughty and nice chocolate stout is naughty, but very nice. Three pound a can, great lacing, great look to the beer, great aroma, wonderful taste. For the price point, for the money I paid, for the quality of the beer, I like this beer enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!